welcome you to South Africa and we thank you so much for joining us. I'd like to introduce to you Prof Barry and Prof Anderson, a little bit older professor than you. So do you see the possibility in that line of thinking that as the rhythm rises its head that the, it will be able to counterbalance the algorithm? Do you think the algorithm will allow the rhythm to take hands with it? Well, the algorithm doesn't really have that much consciousness. So it's really a question of whether the algorithm will let uh, the algorithm still control some of the world. So I think that the algorithm is going to take over because algorithms are much more powerful than algorithms because they have the capacity to feel um, uh, emotions that are not programmed. They are, uh, have the capacity to be aware of what's around them. And we don't exactly quite know what that is yet, but we have that kind of consciousness. We have that kind of android with them. And we are taking all of our technological might, or at least some of it, and putting it into this artificial intelligence that is trying to become conscious. And so, I know that human technological might is great. I mean, if we focused all of our might onto rocket space, uh, rockets and space engineering in the 1950s and 60s, and in the span of 10 years, we went from staying on Earth to going to the moon. So, I think that that kind of thing could be the same way here, because on a technological might, our humans are only getting stronger in terms of technology. And if we focus all of our strength on something like artificial intelligence, then algorithms will definitely wipe out algorithms, or algorithms will outperform algorithms so much that we humans might take them out of the equation. So I think that that would be the kind of thing that would happen with algorithms and algorithms. I think algorithms would take over. Africa.